Hi, submarine friends. Welcome back to watching me build my diesel electric submarine. I'm really pooped right now. It took me a lot of effort to get this section of submarine inside the shop. Holy cow. Wasn't, this wasn't the hard part. The hard part was I had to put an inner tube in one of the wheels in my skid steer. And those sidewalls are so stiff. I was out there with an excavator pushing on the tire and pulling on the tire and three bars. And anyways, I got the darn tube in and it's fixed now. I need it for snow removal anyways, so it had to be done. So anyways, now I'm going to have to decide the best spot to put the electric thruster motors for when it's a diesel slash electric submarine. So what I'm thinking is this, this right here is the nozzle that goes on the end of the motor. It's actually called a cork nozzle and it, it actually accelerates the water flow because of the shape. I made these out of sewer pipe. And so I just put it in the lay the machine it. I had to trim the prop down a little bit to make it fit, but that's okay. Because I want the motors to run at 50 amps and they're actually 55 amps. So by shaving that prop down a little bit, I'm thinking it's going to draw just a wee bit less amperage. Anyways, so what I'm thinking is I don't want, I don't want the motors to be wider than the main hull. But I don't want them hanging way out either. So like right here, I could put them here, but they're a little bit vulnerable there, I think. And also they're really far from the batteries. The further forward they are, the better. So I'm thinking about putting them somewhere like right here. But I, and as long as this is not wider than the hull, which is 48 inches. So I'll have to take some measurements and figure that out. I can always move it back a little bit. And they can actually, they can actually sit on an angle. They don't have to be straight in line. And the reason that it's okay to put them on an angle is it helps you steer. So if the motors are straight and you just put power to one motor, it's just trying to push forward and that turns the sub. But if those motors are on an angle, and then you hit thrust, it pushes the back end sideways as well. It doesn't seem to bother the forward propulsion when both motors are running uh, because the rudder has zero effect. The rudder does nothing with the electric motors going. So uh, you have to steer with the motors. So if they're on an angle, that helps. So if they're on the same angle as the taper in the hull, that'll be just fine. So I'm going to catch my breath. I'm going to call it a day because I am pooped. And I'm going to continue tomorrow. Another thing I did today is I took the electric motors apart and I'm changing how the wires go into the motor because the way they were, they went into the side of the body on each side. So the wires are kind of out, out there and I don't like that. So I want the wires to just come out of the motor and bleep, go right through it into the, into the ballast tank so they're completely protected and out of danger. And besides, I didn't really like, I got a feeling that that might have leaked. Anyways, this is better. So right now I've got the casting resin curing to seal. In this case, I put solid copper wires through and I put a little bend in them so that they, they can't pull on the epoxy. So pretty productive day. But uh, I'm going to call it quits because I am pooped. Ciao for today.